Greetings, everyone. Hope all of you are having an absolutely fantastic day. We're back again with more Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. Let's jump right into the playthrough. We need to finish this conversation with the Hand of the Inheritor. Sell off a bunch of stuff and rest, I believe. Anything else? Anything else? Oh, I don't think so. So, yeah, let's go. My watch goes on. Greetings, champion. Tell me about yourself and your goddess. I will gladly answer any questions. What's it like being the herald of a deity? It is a great honor and a great responsibility. The herald is not always the strongest among a deity's servants, but the herald is always one who embodies the key principles of their faith. This means that I am bound to uphold the highest ideals of I am a day, righteous valor, justice, and honor. This is a tall order even for an angel, but I cannot falter in my duty even slightly. Therein lies my service to the goddess and the thousands of her faithful followers. What does a herald usually do? I serve as the hand and voice of the goddess, carrying out her will and delivering her message. When her radiance has no task for me, I am occupied by the same duties as other warriors of heaven. I keep unfailing watch over the goddess's domain. I escort the souls of the faithful to Verasma's court and then on to their waiting afterlife. I also watch over the goddess's chosen and when the opportunity arises, I descend into hell to engage in honest combat with the devils. It allows me to study their tactics. What is I am a day like? The herald chuckles softly. <laughs> no doubt you are hoping to hear a tale of her untold divine might and the awe she elicits in those around her. Yes, this is true of the inheritor. But it is also true that she seemed much closer and understandable to you than to others, such as myself, for example. I am a day was born an ordinary person in the cursed lands of Cheliax and traveled a long road before she became the righteous queen of heaven. But she has never forgotten who she was before. I am older than my lady goddess, much older, and still I bow down before her foresight and wisdom. We immortals who spend much of our time on the outer planes can sometimes struggle to comprehend the pain fear and joy that mortals feel. But not I am a day. She is as human as she is divine. Why is heaven's host not aiding the crusaders? You could have destroyed the war wound long ago. You cannot imagine how your question fills me with sorrow. My greatest desire since the day the war wound opened was to come here at the head of the light bringing army and drive out the legions of darkness to hurry them until they were cowering in the farthest corners of the abyss. But alas, we, the first servants of the gods, are greatly restricted in what we can do. The Crusades are the mortals' battle for their own world. If I bring angelic forces here, it will become a war between heaven and the abyss. Waves of power, magic incinerating everything within sight, armies of celestials and demons fighting in every corner of this world, the consequences would be horrific. Remember, everything you have seen up to now has been the work of only three demon lords, Daskari and Baphomet, who were supported by Noctacula, the mistress of guile. But in the abyss, there are dozens of creatures with similar power. They are disunited and despise one another almost as much as they despise all that is light and righteous. But be sure that they will not miss a chance to sink their teeth into heaven's throat. If all the demon lords marched into Galorian, it would be the stuff of nightmares, and it cannot be allowed to become a reality. If you can't interfere in the course of the crusade, why are you helping me? There's permissible interference, and then there's crossing the line. I was permitted to create the ward stones and gift them to the crusaders to offer my advice and from time to time even appear on the battlefield myself to accompany several allies. This has not strayed beyond the bounds of the mortal's war. I could have been summoned with equal success by a faithful cleric. But the appearance here of heaven's multi multitudinous host in full force is another matter entirely. Alas, for now I can only offer you this my presence, and a small troop of my loyal soldiers. Thank you for your answers. I am here to illuminate you, champion. I want to talk to you about angels. You have my full attention. How are angels made? Like other supernatural beings, we most often, though not always, are born from the souls of mortals. You must be aware of the grand laws governing the cycle of birth and death. At the Phrasma's court, each mortal soul receives their merited afterlife. Hell and the abyss... Heaven and Elysium, each soul goes to the plane that called to them in life. But when they arrive at their destination, a different fate awaits each soul. Where evil reigns supreme, souls typically become commodities or prey, and a scant few are reborn as wicked fiends. In the plains of good, souls are destined for peaceful rest or great deeds in a new guise, such as the lot of angels. We are born from the souls of noble mortals, one soul or several, it can vary. 
Sometimes the gods can also create angels out of the essence of their plane, but this essence also contains fragments of good souls. What is the difference between angels and mortals? That is a question for sages and philosophers to debate. I am just a simple warrior. The hand of inheritor's voice sounds cheerful, but becomes increasingly solemn as he continues. Although many supernatural beings are born from the souls of mortals, we are not mortals. We are cut from the cloth of the plane from which we originate. We are an idea made flesh. Many things mortals care deeply about mean nothing to us, such as time, for instance, or gender. Only a few of my kind see themselves as male or female. For the majority of angels, these words are meaningless. We can communicate with any creature without learning their language, and we do not freeze in even the most terrible frost. We are different, but we will never look down on mortals because of that, and we will never, ever stop praying for you or protecting you. A dying angel appeared before me in the dungeons beneath Tenebras. He had left his flaming sword in the rubble there. The hand of the inheritor hangs his head. I can guess who it was, Lariel my long lost comrade and friend. He disappeared without a trace back in those days when the war wound opened his jaws for the second time and swallowed up new lands. I mourn him as bitterly today as I did back then, but I also rejoice that he was able to call to us, to you, across the expanse of time. We lose old allies and gain new ones, and we will not surrender, no matter how great the losses, no matter how deadly the enemy. In Canabra, as I touched the ward stone and I saw the angels trapped inside, the Herald of Ayamade gives a sigh beneath his helmet. <sighs> it was a heavy decision for all of us. My mistress sent out a call to take a stand against the demons, and many angels of heaven answered it. We chose the noblest and bravest from among those who volunteered to sacrifice their freedom for the sake of Galorian, and we locked their souls inside the ward stones. They were fated to stand guard there, inside the cold depths of stone, pitting their unbending will against creeping demonic corruption. But alas, the goddess and I fail to account for the weakness that lurks even in the best of us. Time has not been kind to my brothers and sisters. Despair has taken root in their souls, forcing them to act against their goddess and their calling. Thank you for being brave enough to put an end to their vigil. I pray that the gods of the light help my brothers and sisters wherever they may be now. I do not condemn them. I do not know if I could have withstood the demonic corruption if I had been in their place. The Herald shakes his head despondently. Thank you. I found out everything I want to know. It has been a pleasure speaking with you, Champion. Can you tell me anything about my power? I'm afraid not. Even I am not privy to all the workings of my radiant mistress. I believe that she has chosen you, and I know that she watches over her chosen ones most attentively. She does not lead mortals by the hand, but allows them to prove themselves, to prove that they are worthy of her divine mercy. I sense the dark roots that have sprouted from the seed of power in your soul. I offer no condemnation. You have led the Crusaders to victory over evil, and that means you are on the true path. Even if you strayed at some point in your past, it is not the end, and much still lies ahead. While I am a day was still mortal, she underwent the test of the Starstone and gained her godhood. It may well be that you are experiencing a similar trial, at the end of which you will gain true righteousness and power. I have to go. Farewell. May I am a day's light be with you. Whack. Why can't I tell him I killed one of his brethren? Come on now. Come on. Let me be a true demon. Don't, don't, don't limit me just because you don't find a story way for the story to continue. If the Herald of I am a day realizes I'm an angel killer. Give me that. I'm a demon. True demon. Real demon. I, we might as well just get this out the way now. Well, I tell you. Nah, I'm just playing. That was awesome. I really enjoyed the conversations with the Herald of I Am A Day and hearing more about how heaven works. So, good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, yeah. I got people in red. People in red. We got a plus three bow, right? Oh, yeah. That's all she has. Plus three bow. Balanced defender. I still got... I still got the ones I'm supposed to have. Excellent. Um, nothing here that I need. Um, do I, is there anything I need Camellia for? No. Um, we don't need more protection, right? What's this? This is one, that's two. Boom. Constitution. 
I could put that on, but what do I have on my hat? I have on Charisma, yeah, and I need that for my AC. So no, we won't be putting that on. White Wings Cloak, that's for our duelist. Braces of Breaching. Friends of Critical Hit. Vulnerable to Piercing Damage. Uh, what's this? Against Flying? I don't give a damn about being better at against flying enemies. Sell that crap. Okay. Oh, I've got a old... Where did I get that from? I don't remember picking that up. Sorry, y'all didn't point that out. Old Grimroar. This old Grimroar grants its own to three slots for level one spells, two slots for level two spells, and two slots for three level spells for the weird spellcasting class with the highest caster level. What are your first three spells? No, no, uh, no. No, you do not. You need something here. We're not using any of this crap for you. Yeah. We need, yeah, we need to bring Scorch and Ray up a, a smidge <laughs> and sit it in here. Sheesh. Okay. Um. Yeah, yeah. We need Scorch and Ray up here, too. Okay, yeah, you got two dead spots. That's not cool. Okay, um, so yeah, the fir first three slots don't need this. What about, who was I looking at? What about you? It would be great for Wolgif if I was had him build a different way, but I don't. Oh, she's got more slots. Holy crap, I need to look through this. What are you doing some more? Invisibility mask. You know what? I might use that once in a blue moon. Excellent. Mm -hmm. uh, there we go. Okay. One, two, three. Yeah, sure. She can make use of it. There we go. Huh. Then, did I read that wrong? I hope not. Let's see. The old Grimmar grants its owner three slots for level one spells. Da 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 da. Ah, uh, whatever. If it doesn't work for her, it's not like she doesn't have plenty of other things. Okay, no shirts. What did I see up here? I saw something. Here we go. This item is rumored to bring. Great fortune to the owner, either through sheer luck or some other force. Give me that luck. Oh, 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 oh wait, 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 wait. Oh, let's separate this out some. This we don't need any of, yeah. This is our garbage for us. But this, what is this again? Against confusion and fear effects. I don't really have space for that though, right? Yeah, I don't have space for that. Who else is up front? Wolgif, you got space for it? What's your two rings? Oh yeah, no. Uh, what's this? Oh, the ring of per wait now that I think about it oh yeah it just makes him more um, sturdy during that first round when he's actually kind of vulnerable yep they all need that what about you yep okay no ring slots available boom 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 Actually, get all that done. There we go. Great music. Great music. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's not something I need. I'm still holding on to your stupid gift, Darren, because I'm scared to let it go. Thank you so much for that. 
All right, we'll add on an additional 200,000. And check one more time. I still got Radiance, correct? And I still got, I think this is the purple knife. I think this is it. Um, but, okay. Now that we've done that, let's check the journal real quick. Yep. Yeah, I don't know why it still has that. Um, oh, 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 oh. Oh, we already talked to that guy, right? He didn't have any additional information? Yeah. That's broken. Oh, we want to talk with Storyteller. See if, one more time, if he'll let us um, restore that item. I think we got some demon blood and other items while we were at the um, Midnight Fane. So, let's see. Perhaps one of them could tell us a story. Nope. Fine. I'll circle back this with way. you later. Mm -hmm. All right, we've done everything that we could do in Act 4, ladies and gentlemen. It is time to move on. Oh, what's this? Erebeth looks a little puzzled, but salutes you as protocol demands. Commander, you have a letter from Mendev. It was sent via the Church of Ayamade by a trusted courier from the Neuroscien Archives. It is sealed and signed by Inquisitor Leotor, and I was asked to deliver it to you personally. So that's what I'm doing. Erebeth hands you a sealed scroll. He's just letting you know that he's continuing to um, investigate Darren, but there's no real resolution to that quest in the beta. Why do you look so puzzled? I know Inquisitor Leotor very well. His nickname is Hawk Blade for a reason. He works in the field. He does not deal with paperwork. I was wondering what he was doing in Neuroscien and the archives of all places. The most dangerous things the Inquisition can catch there are rats, not witches or cultists. On second thought, I don't want to know. I'm better off staying out of the Inquisition's business. Thank you, Erebeth. You can leave now. The Paladin salutes you again and leaves. Greyboy? Nope, not Greyboy. Oh, well. All right. Darren's gift, an intoxicating yet delicate fragrance, rises from the rose petals. Okay, so we don't have the Crusade uh, menu available, so it's not quite as easy for you to fast forward time. But we've got a couple different ways we can use to do it. Come on, there we go. And we're going to take off rest recommended, and we're going to go to three. It's going to allow us to rest for two days, and we're going to do that 15 times. Bam. Actually, there might be another rest feature that I think about in that lower left menu. Uh -huh. I think there was um, formation select right oh wait here skip time but all right you can do this <gasps> but it makes you exhausted bird. whereas of course doing it in the bed you don't have to worry about all that and then it does seven eight so let's just call it 10 11 12 13, 14. So some of that stuff like, you know, Sela's quest or uh, Ember's quest, they kind of set it up where you do it after you've already been to the um, the Ivory Sanctum. But I'm the type of guy, I like to have everything wrapped up before the main quest is wrapped up. Like the main quest is the last thing that I do. So. I prefer to just go ahead and get everything else done and then finish off the main quest. Because who knows, you know, you'll end up in a situation where the month will pass and then you'll, um, uh, you'll all of a sudden still need to do something, but they're like, nope, start this quest. So, no, nah, I'm good. You've got it all worked out. You go around and spike your armor and look at me and then you can do whatever you want. That's the life. Astonishing. You were even more stupid than I thought, thief. <laughs> Don't be mean to Wolji. Poor Wolji. Alright, we gotta be close by now. 
So I'll keep doing this because I want to be well rested when it starts up. But I swore a vow never to reveal their secrets to anyone else. Oh, I forgot you don't understand the meaning of the word vow. Did we miss something? People come to you willingly and tell you their secrets. Who are these idiots? There we go. That's who we responded to. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I bet you've learned a ton of songs already, huh? Or whatever Desmond likes folk to do. Give us a song, will you? I I mean, I'm still not comfortable singing on demand like that. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, and here we go. Greetings to the leader of my crusader host. I must admit, I was astounded by what happened to the Sword of Valor under the influence of your power. After arriving... My first concern was to visit the relic and pray before my goddess's banner, only to discover that it was no longer her banner. However, we have more pressing matters to discuss at present. I received regular reports about the course of your activities, and I wish to take a moment to publicly thank you, Knight Commander. Your victories as a military commander are undeniable and will not be forgotten. At least I'm fighting in the vanguard and not commanding in comfort from the rear. No doubt you can successfully lead your forces from the vanguard. We will discuss future plans and military objectives later. Now, for the main purpose of my visit. The Hand of the Inheritor summoned me here. He believes that you will require my help when you attack the Midnight Fane. A demon lord temple virtually on top of a crusader stronghold. No one could have predicted it. The sooner we bring it down, the better. You must consider the attack on the Midnight Fane to be extremely important, since it warranted a personal visit. Of course. We reclaimed Dresden. This is a significant achievement for the Fifth Crusade. It was the moment when we proved that we could win. But we must take the next step. We must capture a valuable asset of the enemy. The Fane is the ideal target, because it will allow us to eliminate the threat hanging over Dresden and destroy a key outpost of the Abyssal armies in one foul swoop. That is why I am here, and why I shall be going on the attack with you. What will your presence add to the assault on the Fane? I don't wish to boast, Commander, but on my own I'm worth as much as a whole troop. Besides, I feel that I am needed here, and my blade has sat in its scabbard long enough. What is happening in Mendev? Calm. And by that I mean like the calm before the storm. We fended off an attack on Rosian, and since then, aside from a few skirmishes on the frontier, we have seen neither hide nor hair of any demons. There is good news as well. Word of the Fifth Crusade's victories is spreading far and wide, inspiring new volunteers to join our ranks. The Church of Ayomade has received a record number of donations, which are now being used to keep your forces fed and armed. We are growing stronger, and we have to believe that this newfound strength will be enough to win this war. We're definitely not giving her the Covenant of the Inheritor or the Lexicon of Paradox, so go on the attack. I am ready. The Midnight Fane will fall. We must send the people of Dresden to take shelter. And you must inform all of your companions. The hour is upon us. As the story unfolds, you draw closer to events that have the power to change everything. Some quests and locations may become unavailable. Are you ready to proceed? I am. And that's my correct team, so yep, let's go. We'll level up the other players on the team when we get to the next area. You smell the tang of metal in the dry and warm air of the mysterious fane, accompanied by a hint of rotting flesh. The hand of the inheritor ruffles his wings anxiously. The golden glow that usually surrounds the angel seems to have been snuffed out. A grim 
distorted place. It feeds on foulness and breathes foulness. It is as if we descended into the abyss itself. All the lands of the world wound are corrupted with its poison, but I have never seen anything like this. Why is this place so unusual? There's a rift nearby, the source of our troubles. The abyss seems to cling to the wound inflicted on the world here. What threats can we expect to encounter here? Demons can travel freely through the rift. We don't know where exactly the malevolent gateway leads to in the abyss, but we must assume reinforcements can appear from it at any moment to help the Thane's defenders. What's more, demons feel at home here in proximity to the rift. Spells that are supposed to banish them to their home plane will have no effect. Do the demons know we're here? Oh, they do, without a doubt. We are on their land, on the very threshold of the abyss. We also announced our arrival quite emphatically when we broke through the barrier. Everything is clear. I'm ready for battle. The queen, who has been silent up to now, raises her hand in an imperious gesture. I have the following tactics in mind for us. The hand of the inheritor and I shall take a defensive position and try to, let's say, attract the demon's attention. I'm certain they won't miss their chance to dispatch the crusade's figurehead and deprive Radiant Iomade of her herald in one fell swoop. Commander, your goal is to battle your way to the depths of the Fane and find and dispatch the demon leader, whoever that may be. However, be alert. If you hear the sound of a horn, rally to our side once more. Together we will break the demon's resistance and dispose of their leader. Then we'll decide what we can do what we can do to eliminate this threat once and for all. As if replying as if replying to the Queen's words, a terrible war thunders up from the depths of the fane. Oh, that must be the master of the house bidding us welcome. If my hearing serves me right, that is the war of a Baylor, the most bloodthirsty spawn of the abyss. Find him, champion, and may Iomade light your way. You came, little humans, and you brought your celestial friends with you. Maybe you'd like to bow before the tribe to discard Bothaman and Noctacula, our lady in shadow. Hold your tongue, demon. I am Galfrey of Mendad, the queen and leader of the Holy Crusades. I have come here with my warriors to purge the land you have corrupted. Queen or not, you think I have a clue what you humans call each other? Crush them, you scum, or Darazan will have you for dinner. I see blood. Blood! Sure, we'll leave this as turn base. I wonder what that aura is he's giving off. Ooh, protective aura. Plus four deflection bonus and plus four resistance on saving throws against evil creatures. That'll work. And, uh, let's go with the guys who's supposed to attack first. Yeah, there we go. Give our peeps more time. And we'll just... Why won't it let us charge? Alright, sure. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, there's a guy over there. Oh, there's a guy over there. 36. See some damage. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. Unfortunate. Name you. Um, yeah. There we go. And the boar. Guess he'll go where everybody else hasn't gone. Oh, crap. Still won't let him charge over there, huh? Oh, he probably doesn't have haste. That might be part of the issue. Now that I think about it. Turn on this. Um. Here we go. Let's give it 
Attacked an arrow. Attacked an arrow. Where is Queen Galfrey in all this? Oh, nice. There's three of y'all lined up over there? We'll figure out a way to take advantage of that. All right. First of all, they'll beg me to stop. Excellent. Excellent. Ball dip is over here. Excellent too. Cover me, sure. right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Daniel set him up nicely. And the inheritor. You. You know what? We're just gonna do right Oh yeah. Fifty-three. Holy oh, smokes. Oh, that was done. Uh, we don't need to have turn base on anymore. Just gang up on him and take him out. There we go. And he only still ended up taking him out. That's fine. Oh, that was, or was that Ember? Man? Okay. They're going to wait up back here for me. It's like a bunch of masterwork long spears. Honor Noctacula, our lady in shadow, or you'll know the poison of her stinger. Honor Discari, Lord of Locusts, Usher of the Apocalypse. Honor him and feast with his army on the ruins of the worlds. Honor Bathomet, father of Minotaurs, lord of labyrinths, deceiver of deceivers. Honor him, and you will be like him, more cunning than devils, one step ahead of the gods. Fighting for might righteous trapped. causes might be different from a simple massacre. The former is more bloody right. and performed with pinkies out. Shall we move? Do, 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 do. We shall move. Ox, yas, Miss me already. Trabisi. How long does this last? One minute per level. Trust in yourself. Gentlemen, let's get it done. This is my kind of work. Huh? What's that? Pretty good, aren't I? Yeah. I... Wherever my legs carry me. A tall barricade of body spans the passage, and it gives off an ungodly stench. Huge ash giant carcasses are wedged between broken demon corpses and the tattered remains of mortals. Some of the bodies have obviously been here for a few days and have begun to rot, while others are dripping with fresh blood. They were slain recently. You hear trembling, wicked laughter from the other side of the barricade. You recognize the voice. It is the demoness Monago. I knew you'd come. I knew you'd find us even here. Look, we have raised a barrel in your honor. Darazan ordered us to disembowel all the prisoners and any of his soldiers who dared to show any fear or not enough zeal. Wall just looks at the carnage before him with wide eyes. Are you sure we can't just wait for him to wipe each other out? I don't fancy getting closer to that thing there. Anyway, ain't it about time we call for backup? We've done enough, haven't we? It's over, Monago. You're dead. 
We'll see about that. I outlived Nokonev. You failed to kill me in the chapel and in Dresden. You will not kill me today. Where are you, you dumb beast? If you don't want your body added to this pile, stop him. Mm -hmm. Bathe in your blood. All right. Excellent. We'll take all that. So is restless. We only got one more casting of that. Forwards? Uh, no, backwards. We could backwards. go over, but no. A barricade made of corpses, fresh by the looks of it. All right. This is my kind of work. My tail is twitching. Right you, right you. Excellent. Come on, there we go. Try. Could be trap. Could of be work. treasure. Might be trap. Might be treasure. Pretty good, aren't I? I'll prove I am the best. Let's shred them. This is my kind You'll of work. make a fine trophy. Excellent, excellent. Do, do. There we go. All right, that doesn't do anything we got. What's this? The blizz. Whenever this plus three flaming mithril battle axe confirms a critical hit, the resulting sparks have a chance to ignite enemies around with a sacred fire. All enemies within a 10 foot range must pass a reflex saving throw or suffer 1d6 holy damage for 1d4 rounds. That's nice. Okay. Drill me. Uh, I didn't press tab while I was in this room. Because sometimes if you do, it illuminates the enemies right there and draws them into combat, even though this door is closed. Makes it, things really complicated for you. Sometimes the game won't let you open that door and you end up just having to uh, reload. You still got a couple of casts left, so I'm good with that. The nature of the crystals is definitely unusual. They don't come from the material plane, but the magic you sense in them is weak. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot about this freaking enemy. There was one person who was going to be left unstunned. I definitely wanted it to be Asmodeus, so I will take it. Wolf. Nothing wrong. Come on. So many thoughts. I hope that just fixes itself. Oh, that's not a good start. Good 
good map though. There we go. Oh, that's so annoying. Spear, on only longsword, rather. There we go. Full plate of spell nullify. This plus three mithril full plate grants the wearer additional spell resistance 23. Very nice defense. See any punches happening right now, sir? Excellent. I'm hoping it'll just let me transfer into the next area, and when it does, Waljif will be back up on my team. We'll see. See a twirling around that damn stick. Hmm. Just realized I should have put Death Ward on um on the board. I forgot about that. Let's see if it'll let us just go. Never my legs carry me. Okay. Doesn't appear to be doing that. Next question. I never gave him Dimension Door. I swear I thought I did. Do I have Dimension Door as a scroll? Seem to do a whole lot of nothing. Oh, here we go. Mass. Yes. What in the hell? Why is that? Forwards. No, yeah. no, backwards. Uh, backwards. Yes. Boom, boom. Oh, 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 because I think it, it nullifies teleportation, right? And the because we're in the planner rift? Is that it? Interferes making teleportation impossible. Oh well, if you're killing me, man, you're killing me. Tail is restless. Yeah, what if no, it doesn't matter. No matter what, he can't transport up here, right? Oh, God, dog it. Okay. What if we reload? Will that automatically bring him to us? Let's have some 
fun. Where is Wilbiv? He's with us. No All right. Match for me. Not air Now they're down there? Okay. We're not crossing that bridge then, apparently. It is what it is. Okay. You all already saw what's over there anyway. We're just gonna go straight here. Can we retreat already? Would have been nice to sell that stuff, but whatever. We got plenty of money. So I'm not sweating it. There we go. here, right? What now? What appears to be the problem? Uh, Wolf. I am yours to come She's in. here. Is He's here. Smile. Baron's here. Oh, Ember's here. Just yet. Oh, I wonder why. Yes, what? We're all here. What's the problem? Come on. I don't have a way around that. All right. I'm going to try quitting out of the game and loading back in, see if it'll let me through. Okay, quitting out of the game and coming back in seems to have fixed it. So we will head up. Let's see. Not have the spawn right ideas. now. This way. Enemies at the entrance. Stop them, or your bones will decorate my master's labyrinth. Succeeded for the priest, of course. And this doesn't hit enough of them. So they'll just go in here. Ooh, window off. Um, I don't not like him. Excellent. Well, Jeff. Me, all right. Excellent. Quite excellent. Ember. Nope, not possible. Huh? <laughs> Beat you to pieces. Interesting. Okay. Let her come on in. The hell beg me to stop. Stab you or zap you. Why not both? Actually, let's just take off real time. There's only one of them left. There we go. 
go. I say we, we're uh, we're wasting time. Ooh. Servant's key, rainbow quartz. Ooh, plus four to strength and dexterity. Very, very nice. Banshee's heart. Whenever this plus three dun thundering glaive confirms a critical hit, all creatures in a 15 foot radius must pass a fortitude saving throw or suffer 2d8 plus four sonic damage and become prone for one round. Wow. That is quite the glaive. Okay. Wherever my legs carry me. I see blood. Blood! I'm doing this in real time because one, they're not using any special abilities that you need to see. And two, it takes forever if you don't do it uh, in real time. Yama. Brutality. That's what I'm talking about. And make sure before you head back that you get this um, announcement that, hey, you have com actually completed that quest. Because you saw I had to manually go around the corner to draw in those enemies. Like, it's possible there are enemies floating around that are waiting for you to engage with them. I think that's their way of trying to make sure you're not too ganged up on, maybe. Forwards. But it's super Forward. annoying for you to go through this whole dungeon and then for them to come back and say, hey, you, let, you didn't uh, actually help us. It's hard to shake the feeling that the unmoving eyes of the statue of Baphomet are somehow watching you. Oops. All right. Trail me. Now things get difficult and annoying as hell. Are you serious or is it doing that thing again? I was about to say, please let me just go through the freaking door. Huh? What's that? All right. This is my Let's kind see if of we work. can get this to work. This fight is always brutal for me. And I'm hoping that will not be the case this time. First of all, my bus is still in place for the most part, right? Yeah, we got a few minutes left on them. Um, do you have this turned on? I don't. Let's turn this on. Um, I don't know what use, but let's take fire. That's not right. Oh, I wanted spell resistance. Right. Oh well, um, okay. Is that alright? Um, oh. What is this? Undead Guardian. Great Undead Grave Knight. That's interesting. Okay. I didn't know there were two options with this. All right, Something let's wrong. go ahead and get it done, y'all. Yeah, well, just I'm gonna need you to go all out on this quick, one. Quick, quick! Else we miss all the fun. All your stuff. Where's shield? Why is the shield activated? And your other one isn't activated either. And enlarged person is missing. He's missing all your stuff. Anything new? This war must end. Shall we move? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, we mm -hmm. shall move. All right. Yeah, we're definitely doing turn-based mode for this. You need me. Good. Let's remember my name. Wenduag. Excellent. Now we'll go in here. A lot of jerk offs. Oh, Jeff. Oh, crap. That's what I forgot. I forgot, um. That dog it. Are you saying? Seriously, saying you can't. Ooh, so annoying. Um. I forgot that. I 
me. It's too far back. I forgot that poison immunity is actually very useful here. Let's now try to charge. Nope. Oh, great. Boar's low on health. Let's just keep getting better and better. Interesting. Here. Um, actually, what I really want are distractions. <laughs> we go. We'll go with that. Excellent. All right, now when do I take another crack at it? That guy's gonna refresh. Spots of trap, cool. No match for me. And then she does nothing fine. Well, Jif needs to disarm that trap. Excellent. That's whoa. Sorry. Okay. Um, that makes things a little easier. Now, Nanio. I don't remember what I wanted to do with you. Oh, 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 I turned this back on, and I wanted to feel everybody's wisdom. There we go. Wow. More Junk Girls. Keeps getting better and better. And there's nobody I can target who's around me. Oh, here we go. I can target him, huh? Um, let's go ahead and turn on some Demonic Rage. Yep, 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 yes. All right. He's gonna revive himself. Okay. Back, but not doing much damage. Uh, Phantasmal web, not cool. Not cool at all. Okay. Um, she needs to come here. And she can hit all of them. Come on, what is the problem? Does she need to come out? And it's still not letting me do it. Like, <laughs> I don't understand. Surrender or else. Ooh. Okay. Skip your turn. Maybe that's just what's needed. Mm. All right. Do I need more feral I think I need more champions, considering the fact that it seems like all of my guys are stuck right now. Not cool. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right. When do I? Who's this? I'll beg me to stop. Oh yeah. You're down, down, permanently down. Excellent. Well, Jeff. You can't actually attack. Does that mean you're useless? Uh. Actually, how much? Oh, one minute and six seconds? Yeah. Alright, use this. Boom, 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 boom. Um, who's next? Can't target him. There we go. 
very, very nice, very, very nice. You fell down. I have failed your saving throw against phantasmal putrefaction. Okay, excellent. And May let's get started with the destruction. Please? You're down permanently. What about you? Down permanently as well. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Almost had a, th had a third one. Mm. They're doing all sorts of ugly sneak attacks too. This is not cool. Ooh, his body bent really badly <laughs> in that happened. All right, there we go. All right, now we're getting some damage. No, sir. All right, now you can go ahead and start breaking bones. 46, very, very nice. Very, very nice. When do I? Oh, crap. So you actually look through that. All right. Well, can you actually do something now? Or are you still, are you still down for the me. Okay. Boom, boom. Mm -hmm. you are well uh -huh. You. With the attack yep. commence. What the hell? So just because he fell down, I I I I'm, don't do the rest of my full attack. Come on, man. Oh oh oh. Or maybe it was one of those where they they revive. So that's why. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. That's fine. Boom boom. Damage? Yeah, okay, yeah, he gets right back up. That's fine. That's fine. It's not annoying, but fine. When do I deal with it? No match for me. You're down permanently now. There we go. And then Wolgif will Time to share your treasures! I was about to say I, I would have been shocked if you had survived that. Who else is who's that other guy? So there's this one guy over here, but oh, oh, there's there is one guy still still down there. Oh, but we're waiting for him to revive. Okay, fine. Excellent. And nothing to do but wait. Apparently, actually, you know what? We'll uh, get my boy a little closer. There you go. You'll get back up. No problem. Go. Uh -huh. There we go. And when do I? Can you do a full attack there? You can. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that was the best run I've ever had against that battle. Pretty sure it has never went better than that. Ooh. That battle sucks. All right. Very, very happy about how that went. The room is drowning in sinister luxury. The banners, armor, and other crusade trappings presented as trophies look strangely out of place. What's this? Perception check failed. Hmm. Get the blood. This plus three cold iron dagger that was used in weird rituals and is still thirsty for blood. While the wielder of the dagger is in combat, each time someone dies, the dagger increases its potency. The wielder can use his power to make any spell empowered, as though using the empowered spell feat. Each use spends one potency. Interesting. That's very, very nice. Oh, man, are you serious? Y'all all failed your check? All of you, one after another, failed that check? How? 43. That's no joke. Who's my window of is the one we were supposed to handle that? She rolled a three, of course. Ah, oh, that's disappointing. Alright, actually. Yeah, we don't have a plus three dragger. Haste eradicator retrieves claw. Has an increased critical multiplier. Uh 
but this doesn't stack with the hay spell. Boom, 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 boom. Get the blood, put that there. But then I actually had a question. What are you looking like now? This is a plus three ghost touch heart seeker weapon. Whenever it lands, it deals additional 1d6 force damage. So why don't we use two plus three daggers? There we go. Much, much better. Whoops. Whoa. I never filled out his spells? <sighs> Some more. What are you doing? Um. Oh, 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 oh. You know what? I keep wondering. Why doesn't he have Dimension Door? Okay. Couple of those. Couple of those. Couple of those. That's just for flavoring. Jeez. I never came. I never fit took care of that all right oh yeah here we go a strange scene is revealed to the commander's eyes bodies of mortals of different ages and races are neatly hung on hooks they aren't impaled instead they dangle from restraints carefully looped over each hook the entire structure is more akin to a road wardrobe hung with clothes in a torture chamber, but it is no less disturbing for the comparison. All the bodies are strangely withered, almost mummified, but their eyes are wide open. The dead, dead stare of a blue-eyed half-elf girl hanging on the central hook is fixed on the commander. Another step and they all die, shouts the demon Monago from behind the structure. These are my husk. One snap of my finger and they'll all be dead. And any strike you direct at me will instead be turned on them. The commander's reply comes swiftly. Knowledge Arcana, check past. You're lying, Monaco. There are ways to destroy your connection to the husk without harming them. Use curse reversal or spell destruction. I know how to sever your connection to the victims. They are out of danger. Yeah, we'll go with number one. To hell with you. Monago screams, preparing to run. It's not clear what exactly the demon does, but all at once the husks no longer look like corpses. The air fills with their hollow, desperate groans. The hair of the blue-eyed girl in the center turns gray before the commander's very eyes, as if each passing moment lasted a dozen years for her. Her face seemed vaguely familiar. The commander rushes forward to stop Monago escaping. The commander's attack reaches his target. Monago screams with pain, but manages to finish her spell and disappears, nursing her fresh wound and hoarsely exhaling the words of curse. The blue-eyed half-elf, now aids, falls from the hook and lands heavily on the ground. Her gray hair, brown only moments before, covers her face. Her shoulders are trembling, but her fingers curl into a fist. A glow of healing magic engulfs her hand as she runs her fingers over her face. Her trembling subsides as she struggles to her fate. Do not abandon me, inheritor. And give me the strength to aid my brothers and sisters in their hour of need, the old woman whispers softly. Her hands once more begin to glow with healing light as she rushes to help the commander, to heal the other husk. The commander now sees her face. It is the face of Yanio, the hero of the First Crusades. The blue-eyed old woman helps the last victim down from their hook. We're alive. We're free. No more of this endless imprisonment, she looks at you. Whoever you are, accept the gratitude of Yaniel, an unlucky paladin who spent years serving as a demon's plaything. I've met Yaniel once already, and that one turned out to be an enemy in disguise. The old woman chuckles bitterly. I'm not surprised. Demons are well-versed in artifice of all kinds, and there's nothing that brings them greater pleasure than using mortals' trusting natures against us. If you don't believe I am who I claim to be, Test me however you want. Evil, draw radiance and strike the woman. How about this for a test? The sword pierces the paladin's body. Her blue eyes flash a surprise before the light departs them forever. Blood runs down radiance's blade and the sword's soft glow dies away to be replaced with a commonest crimson gleam. Windowalk stares at you curiously and then asks cautiously as if treading on thin ice, Why did you kill her, master? Evil, 
She is a legend of the Crusades. Why would I want any competition? Windowalk stays silent for a while, contemplating your words, and then smiles quietly. The lesson of cunning is learned. Thank you. Ooh. I wonder if Windowog might betray you in the end. Hmm. All right. A success worthy the barrier price. created by Monago is literally radiating power. She clearly put great effort into making it. I don't like the way they don't let you kill the rest of the prisoners who were with her. Seems like they should give that option. Okay. Um... Where you at? I want to see it. Ooh, look at how that looks. Ooh. <laughs> wow. This weapon is a plus four cold. You could get a plus four weapon before you even get to act four. That's awesome. In the hand of an evil aligned mythic creature, it becomes a Bane living Avenger. This sacred weapon provides spell resistance of five plus the wielder's class level to the wielder and anyone adjacent to her. Wow. It also enables the wielder to use greater dispel magic once per round as a standard action at the class level of the wielder. Once the area dispel is possible, only the area dispel is possible, not the targeted dispel or counter spelled versions of greater dispel magic. Bane living. A Bane weapon excels against certain foes, against a designated foe. The weapon's enhancement bonus is plus two better than its actual bonus. It also deals an extra 2d6 points of damage against such foes. Wow. I think this seals that in the main full game, I'm going to be a Magus. When I, when I do my demon run, I'll be Magus. If I don't just finish this out, we'll see how I feel. But that is a truly awesome, fearsome weapon. In fact, do I have any, what is he, neutral evil? He's neutral evil. I'm almost thinking, can, wait, no, he can't even hold a light sword though. Psst, I would have given it to him <laughs> and said, hey, give us that freaking ore as we run around, but. Oh, well, um, you don't need any strength, but you benefit from strength. You have plus four dexterity constitution. No, we'll do this instead. Bull strength, mongrel. Oh, uh oh, because you have reduced person, it's a little less, but that's fine. All right. Okay. That was awesome. And now let's continue on. Smile, the world's not ending just yet. Yeah, put this in the I refuse to accept their statement. I don't know what that trap does. What are you doing, Nanio? Uh, yeah, I have this on. Why why is she running up? This is my kind of work. Not have been running up. Come on now. Doom doom doom. doom. Right. Save you that. My unbiased opinion? Bah, am Let's go. No time for debates. I'll rip you apart. Nah, am Excellent. Oh, I forgot. Did my board need? Oh, hey, they changed that. Oh, I was about to say, it used to be there, a door over there. Okay. Are we all good? Yeah. The only person who needs help is the door. Okay. Go. And then deal with this guy over here. I don't remember if there's a trap here. This is my kind of work. You can handle them. Right? Okay. Go. Did you just die already? Come on. Oh, now he's revived again. Okay, now we kill again. There we go. Excellent. Let's 
sell stuff. Sell stuff. What's in wait for me there, I wonder? Same thing, right? Yep. Okay. Now let's continue on. <laughs> the succubus reclining on the pillows notices you, but doesn't even make an attempt to attack you. Her dark eyes track your every move. Welcome to the Shrine of Noctacula, Commander. I am Grisella, Noctacula's devoted priestess. I am supposed to stop your kind, but you charged in here so resolutely, so imperiously, that my hand is already moving to offer you the key. Sizing up the succubus, sizing the succubus up shamelessly, the hunter, the hunter's not satisfied. Doing with us, demon. Master, she's not taking us seriously. Give her to me. And a hundred gongs, she will be obedient in word and deed. Oh, how interesting. I see in your eyes that you have a mighty spirit and an iron will. You will be a worthy opponent. Demons usually try to kill me on sight. Are you so terrified you decided to simply surrender? Grisella smiles and shrugs a naked shoulder. You would hardly believe me if I told you I was in all the commander's glory. Or how I just wanted to feel those hands that have brought death to so many demons treat my body like a holy relic. It's partially true. Priscilla leans forward, looking you in the eye. I dreamed of you barging into my abode and taking me violently like your slave. But I dreamed even more often of you breathing me freedom. There's no place for me in Dresden. That stuck-up prig who thinks he's the irreproachable messenger of I am a day won't let me up there, but I can't return to my mistress to report this either. Priscilla sighs heavily, her chest rising and falling in a supple wave. Darazan, that fool, got the idea that we all must fight to the very end. He's not letting anyone flee to the abyss. But tell me, why would I fight you, the victor? All I can do is kneel and give you the key to the door that guards the rift. Demons never do anything for no reason. What's the catch? Priscilla wags her finger at you like you're a disobedient child. So suspicious, Commander. There is no catch. I just want to spend some more time with you and test you. Her eyes flash. I want to know whether I can trust you with the key. Well, tell me, why should I believe that you will defeat Darazan? You'll get a present if you convince me. Grisella doesn't do anything, just looks at you. But as you stare back at her, you are struck by the realization that she is incredibly beautiful. Her features seem familiar, though you can't place her. And at the same time, her beauty is a blend of everything that's ever aroused your desire, even in passing. Asmodeus, whispers a voice, the one you've heard so often in your dreams. Come to me. I dream of you. Oh, snap. Failed the will check. Ooh, failed it. Oh, only by a couple of points, but uh, my will was not high enough to really deal with her anyway. You see no point in resisting. Finally, your most ardent, half-forgotten fantasies will become a reality. There is no point in searching. Everything you need is here. But instead of touching you, Grisella laughs and the vision dissipates. I thought better of you, Commander. If you can't resist me, what would a stronger succubus manage if she deigned to set her sights on you? You will be just a toy in her hands. I'm starting to doubt you have defeated as many demons as they say, and that you're capable of defeating Darazan. This doesn't look like a shrine. Priscilla laughs softly. <laughs> what does it look like, a brothel? This is what a shrine of Nautical is supposed to look like. A place where pleasure await the meek and the defiant get. Priscilla licks her full lips. A quick death. Tell me about Nautacula. Priscilla stares dreamily into the distance, her cheeks flushing slightly. Nautacula, my mistress. She is the patroness of succubi and assassins, the ruler of Alan Shinra, city of pleasures and cruelty. She is as deadly as she is beautiful. When Nahendri, the cursed demon lord, tried to enslave her, she just destroyed him like a bothersome insect. 
My mistress has seduced and killed many powerful demons. She built her realm on their bones. They became the Midnight Isles. Priscilla sighs. I'll never get even close to her greatness. Oh, my lady in shadow, lover and warrior. I'm not even worthy of being trampled beneath your feet. Not good enough to have my skull crushed between your thighs. I think I'll need a week to recover after that outpouring of fanaticism and hell place hyperbole. <laughs> Tell me about Succubi. You must know a lot about them already. We are demons of passion who will soon be a parents of our victim most desires to see. We feed not on your flesh, but your lives. Our kisses are deadly for you. Through them, we your life force until there is nothing but an empty shell left. Noctacula, our lady in shadow, the greatest of us, the first of us. Oh, how I'd love to earn her praise. But you won't let that happen, I know. All right, I'll prove to you that I can defeat Darazan. Priscilla smiles, baring her sharp fangs for a moment. Oh, Commander, your willingness to indulge me is so gratifying. Mm -hmm, 31, 29, ooh, 33. You don't care how I'm going to defeat Darazan. You're just bored and want to have some fun, but I think we've talked enough. Priscilla sighs heavily. <sighs> of course, I'm bored. I have to sit in this dungeon because my mistress is an ally of Baphomet and Discari. There's absolutely nothing to do here. All right, go on and kill your Darazan if you find him so much more interesting than me. That does sound impressive. I suppose I have to give you the key. You'll just take it by force otherwise. Priscilla licks her lips rapaciously. Take it and take this as a little souvenir. Look at it and remember me. Priscilla's hand caresses her stomach lower and lower. And I'll be thinking of you. I have to go. Priscilla gives you a lazy smile. Farewell, Commander. Too bad we have so little time. I could spend an eternity with you. These gloves increase the save DC of all enchantment school spells the wearer cast by two. In addition, whenever the wearer affects an enemy with a spell for the first time, the enemy suffers a negative two penalty on will saving throws for three rounds. Hmm. Yep. All right. The enchantment part won't help her, but the second part, if it if they allow loser spells to count for that, would definitely be beneficial. Pretty good, aren't I? Alright, that's just regular leather army. No ordinary mortal could withstand the heat coming from this bath. Are we ready to move out? Let's see if hopefully nobody falls through this freaking um thingamajig. All right. There's nothing over there for us. I already know that. Only you deserve my obedience. your blood. I took a cave slug for a bow. Got to stop him before he does that nonsense. That's that same guy who uh, had, gave us that damn song last time that we that I couldn't figure out how to break out of. Kill him with the quickness. Um, we still got on poisoned defense, right? Yeah. Where do you want me? Right where you are. I refuse to accept their statement. Oh, turn base. Ooh. Jerk off. <laughs> Who's getting hit up like that? Good lord. Um, you are the one, and you're the next one to act. No match for me. Excellent. This kill is excellent, for you. excellent, excellent. Amber. Oh, nope, you don't have snake. But you got something else that's still hit multiple people. 
And let me make sure you're automatically using that. And turn this on. Okay. Sure. Cover me, all right. What is he doing? I'm missing a bunch. Interesting. That's all right. Manually turning on rage. Die! Die! There we go. Burn, slice, and behead. Other people got involved all of a sudden. Wow. Wow. That's kind of wild. I'll rip you apart. You're going to run now. You're a rage person. I can already tell. You're not going to run nearly as much, but it's fine. Too late for apologies. <laughs> There we go. Who are you? You gonna run up? Nope, you're also a ranged character. But, Wolf will take care of this. This is my kind of work. There we go. And Asmodeus, can you charge there? Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, fine. May I see your entrails, please? Well, I'll settle for that. 33 damage, not bad at all. You definitely not be able to charge around the freaking pillar. <laughs> That'll work. You come on up. Don't whoa. Why is it saying that's red around there? I don't understand that. Is there a person who's nearby that we're not aware of? Ah, okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sure, get right up close. Go, go. What just had? Oh, lightning bolt. Cast lightning bolt. Didn't help you very much. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Beg me to stop. Ooh, critical miss. Ember. Awesome. And then. Excellent. Attack of opportunity. And you. Oh, <laughs> Knocked him back. Yes, sir. Excellent, excellent. Alright, a little bit done to you. A little I bit will done see you. to you. Excellent. Oh, he's out of uh, Bone Shaker, huh? Alright. When we get back to the main area. I think it's going to be time to um, go ahead and take a breather. In fact, no, the time is now because, well, actually, no, we don't care about that. I was going to say the time is now because if we go went on ahead and slept now, we could reduce the corruption with that, but that's not actually going to matter where we're going, so... The body of this soldier of the Second Crusade decayed long ago, but his rusty armor still bears a spark of his holiness. Alright. Okay, we discovered something. This is my kind of work. And whatever we discovered is not in here. She's discover a trap. And the log spots a trap. Maybe it's just beyond here. Nope, not that either. Weird. Find that a little bit weird. Let me just check one more time. Not leaving anything behind, right? Nope. Alright. This way. And I and there's nothing in that Oh, whoa, 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 what's that? Oh, just a cookery plus one. Something to sell. All right. Let's go. Hmm? Oh, yes. Uh, 
anything for you. Yeah, about that. There's something over here. Yep. I'll just sell stuff. That's fine. All right, now. Stop the invaders. They must not get inside the fade. Mm-hmm. Oh, these people are not are not uh turn based mode worthy. Ooh, even though I'm getting the crap beat out of me right now. Let's do that one more time. There we go. Might be Ooh. trap, might be treasure. Pretty good, aren't I? And let's go help I'll our carve friends. Carve my name onto your flesh. Yeah, I'll definitely take that. Ah, nope. Don't need to go there, but I'll take this. All right. Um, Never my legs carry me. There we go. Boom. That's the way. Is that the way we're supposed to go? I don't remember. Um, okay, this is probably a good place for me to go ahead and rest. Oh, snap. Just having it on my person is enough to give me that. Um, wow. Wow, that's crazy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was well worth doing. Okay, that is a mainstay oh, for me right now. That's crazy. I don't even have to actually be wielding the sword in order to get the resistance. I mean, unless that's a bug that they're going to fix next time. But we'll take full advantage this time. All right. Let's go ahead and rest. Let's see if Asimars truly possess superior memory recall to humans. Please list all your ancestors going back to the founder of your line. Father, mother, grandfather, grandmother, my other grandfather, my other grandmother, four great-grandfathers, four great-grandmothers, my great-great-grandfather. What? <laughs> nice job, Darren. Okay. Watch out. So, yeesh, I don't remember what I, where I came from, but we'll go to over here and see if that's it. <laughs> the road calls me. I'll take the bait. Yes. This. This. Uh, this. And this. Yes, sir. 
Also need hold on. Where is that freaking thing? We need this. You can turn on this. And we absolutely need ice protection. This fight is rough. If you do not have any sort of protection from ice, this fight is so good. Okay. Don't mind me. I won't mind you, it's Alright. Forwards? Uh, no, backwards. backwards. Okay, yeah, so that's a dead end. So, let's see, I originally came in from there. This must be it then. Nope. That's the one I came to before. So, is it over here? Is this it? Yep, this looks much more familiar. Oh, yeah. Here's that door. Ah, it's definitely a turn based mode kind of fight. Yep. already got his little thing to jig off, so I'm not worried about that anymore, so. One, two, three. Excellent job, Wendell. Very, very nice, Wolgif. Distract them for me. Excellent. Not quite. Damage, very, very nice, very, very nice. Excellent, excellent job, Ember. And now we brave the cold. Won't charge through. Oh crap! I forgot about that. All right. Won't charge through all those people. Somebody takes some negative four dexterity on it. Unfortunate. No match for me. 25 damage. All right. He has to deal with the trap, unfortunately. This is All my right. kind of work. Now. Um, oh, they're saying Bone Shaker doesn't work on him. No problem. Stuff all the way around. Have ban of alluring charisma. 
side plus three. Very nice. Very, very nice. I swear it took, somebody took some dexterity damage, right? I swear I saw that somewhere. You did. All right. Smile. The world's not ending boom, just boom, boom, yet. Boom. That fight is so much better when you uh, have protection from cold. There we go. That's that went. Excellent. Scar, the usher of the apocalypse, looks menacing even as a statue. I don't remember. Ooh. Time to share your treasure. No, we don't need that. Let's go. Handle it. Handle it. Yep. My tail is switching. Must be the sign. Alright. Trash, trash. Okay. Hmm. Usually there was something there where it would let me use it at like a portal, but whatever. Oh man, What's I think we're headed to what is usually one I of the. Let you hurt my friends. Yeah. These guys are what else? No big deal. But the final part of this little section, which is optional by the way, I already have all three keys, so we could just move on. But I'm just doing the rest of this because I'm a completionist like that. This way. And I want you all to see all the wonderful content. There's a you guy up there. Bath and your blood. Ooh, that spell resistance is coming in handy. Oh crap, I forgot. Some like come down from the other side. They're real jerk offs like that. And these are uses, yep. And unscathed, for the most part. Looks like it. Yep, unscathed. All right. Something gold up here. There we go. Wherever my legs carry me. I think it's through there. Oh, was there something over here that I might got be trap? Might be treasure. Ooh! Whenever this plus three cold iron gnome hooked hammer head lands a hit on an enemy, the target must pass a fortitude saving throw or become stunned for one round. If an enemy is stunned this way, they suffer an additional two d eight piercing damage. Whenever he lands one hit. And you know Regal is landing like eight hits. Come on. Just, <laughs> I can't wait to have a playthrough where I'm using Regal and I get to swing that thing around. Okay. This guy is absolutely brutal most times. I think, uh, in fact, I think Trust most, uh, sometimes I end up uh, skipping this fight. Ooh, but we're going to try. Uh, ooh, we're going to give it the old one, two. Ooh, F not. Ooh, F not. All right, and we're almost out of pace. Definitely turning on turn based mode for this. What is this? No. All right, let's see what happens. Forwards. No, no, they warn you ahead of time, like, yo. <laughs> Approach you at your at, at your own warning. Okay. Window up. Uh, kick us off. I'll rip you apart. Yes. Shred them. Okay. Are 
you do you have invisibility on? Nope, you don't. No, no. Hey, no. I'm sitting no. over there without that, so you're hanging back. Um, you can't reach him. Alright. Darkness. Oh crap. Oh, these are the guys that they that is referencing. Oh. I was like, where are these other two guys that are eventually gonna start attacking us? Well nope. We're gonna focus on playful darkness first. Come on. There's nothing in front of me. Why can't I just charge this dude? The attack commence. <sighs> okay, fine. Whatever, 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 whatever. Uh, she can't do that. She can do this. Oh, of course, they're freaking immune to that. What are you thinking? All right, you're blocked off count of anyway. I'm gonna let you do it. I wanted you to attack them. Oh, wow. Well. Um, why wasn't Windelaw supposed to go? Oh, okay, whatever. Um, cover me, alright? Ooh, 45. Great advantage of strength and constitution. Crazy amount of natural armor. We're gonna need your help, Ember. Yep. Actually, can this dude be take go to you know what? No, let me check him first. Ah. <sighs> you won't stop us. What are you immune to? Right. Immune. You are not immune to Oh yeah, he is immune to sleep. So don't use that. Um, I wanna use Evil Eye, but I would prefer when people are closer to him. And she can't use Evil Eye. Why can't she use Evil Eye? What's the problem? Um. Okay, you know what? She's gonna focus on these other guys now. Who's the next guy who's gonna attack? You? Okay, you're right next to her anyway. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, Darren. Um, the only way to stop his healing is to actually put a healing spell on him. But he's not close enough to do that right now yet, so that's fine. We'll let him get closer, then we'll try to deal with him. 50. Okay, cool. All right. Rage. Lots of rage. Die, die, die! 46. Okay, critical hit and a sneak attack. Excellent. When do uh can you do anything about these guys? You get a full hit there, full hit there? Yeah, yeah. Get them out of here. Get them out of here. Clear that nonsense out of here. Alright. Then you, Nanio. That's that guy. Where's this fox dude coming from? I don't see fox anywhere oh, oh 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 the fox is playful darkness there we go there we go i was like okay 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 um can you i'm not worried about him we can focus on playful uh, darkness now fails to overcome interesting and here he goes that's go not retreat. good. That's really not good. Wow. I forgot how brutal he is. <sighs> Ember. Can you use it on him now? There we go. We'll save it though succeeded, but it'll last for at least one round. Darren. Let's kneeling on him. Fails to overcome spell resistance. Ooh, this might take a while. Alright, um... None to it but to do it. Slice! Behead! Ooh. He is... That's not going well. Legendary weapon, of 
force. All right. Um, when do I? Yeah. Hell, beg me to stop. Damn. Um. He might not make it to his next turn, though. Oh, that's just not good, is it? Not good at all. Do I have anything that would really? Actually, he's, does he still have Evil Eye on him? But even then, that's for AC. So that doesn't really help us because now all of our AC fighters are down. I really need... Damn, this guy is rough. Yeah. Give him his fortune. Alright. That works on him. But it's not gonna... You know what, no. We can get him down first. Oh, oh, oh wait, 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 what am I thinking? We yeah, should have done that from the beginning. We need to put out some help. Need some help. Need some help. Here. What's this guy? What's this guy like? There we go. Yeah, let him help out. And he did nothing. <laughs> That's comforting. So at least you are working. Cool. When do I? No match for me. Jeez. Nanio, you can't run away from them either. We're all still hasted. Um. What else? I guess we'll just keep going with fire, right? You should have listened to reason. This condition is irrational. Yep. It was not. Preferable, but it was also I unavailable. My body to science. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. <clears throat> miss, miss. She has no way to get more more turns with that, so you know what? Let's keep it going. Whew. Rough. He can't go anywhere either. His bones work on him. Fails to overcome spell resistance, even though it does work with them. They're not gonna break through either, but at least they'll distract them. Oh my god, really? <laughs> they'll beg me to stop. Oh. One out of five with her. And now he's got another turn to tear apart somebody else. Window walks down. This dude is just brutal. You know what? I need to play this in a different way. All out force on him. Twenty five damage. I would really prefer not to start this over. Come on all the <laughs> all these hits and not one. Come on. Oh wow, and all of them are down? Okay, this is crap. Ember's not standing up before that all by herself. <sighs> and now you see the dilemma. Okay.
gonna do that a little bit differently. All right, first of all, this war must oh, don't me? you have animal now? You have uh, animal growth, yep. I've also been completely forgetting about Stone State Community. We've also got a better version of Boss Life. We've also got Vampire Shield. We're turning all that on. All that on. We're giving you. You displacement. You displacement. You. We're gonna waste. we going burn that dino bone. Don't mind me. It is all out. I should have done this from the very beginning. You still got a reduced person on. You still got a reduced person on. Is there oh, any the other buffs I should be using right now? Not really. He's using a whole bunch of physical attacks. You know what? Yes. We should just go ahead and start out the fight when our summons are already out. So they can go ahead and help from the very beginning. One guardian armor, one grave knight. I'm unimpressed with guardian armor on these tougher enemies so let's see what the grave knight does bring them out all right now that all of them are out we're gonna haste everybody we will let the summons deal with the the guys in the back and then we will focus wholly on playful dead i'll prove i'm best yeah 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 i see you come on there we go. I won't let you hurt my friends. There we go. Wolgif. Crap. Did I forget to give you greater visibility? I sure did. Oh well. Right now, for right now, you can just That's fine. Yep, yep. Deal with all them little flunkies he's got. I'm not bothering with them. you. Come straight over here and deal with him. Give him something to think about. You. What you got? These two aren't gonna work on him. I already used that dynamo, so yeah, just focus. Focus fire then. That won't even work. No, then fine. Get closer. So that it will the next time. You. Rage. Ultimate rage. Uh, I'm not going to give you a free attack on him. We'll wait. Okay. Wolgif. Give him something to think about. Yep. We know there's good move me. back there. And he misses, of course. Uh, and the ghosts come. All right. Wendowog. Hit him up again. No match for me. Oof. So rough. Even with all those buffs. Wolgif, still, still, still. And oh, I was about to say, if that game crashes on me. <laughs> All right, Ember. Reduce AC. There we go. Darren. Enough. Oh, he can't get close enough to use that. Okay. So he has to use one of these guys. Do your jobs. Yep. Take him out. Where's my guardian armor guy? I didn't see him attack anybody. Excellent. Come on, boy. You're, you're not. <laughs> you're not working with me here. 
she can't she can't attack him. I used the evil eye too early. Only one dwarf is really gonna be able to take full advantage of it. And she's not the one. Dang. It's not good. Well, at least he didn't. Okay. That helped quite a bit at least. Um Fortune. Yep. Alright. Um There we go, that's one. Do you continue doing your jobs? Oh crap. That's not what he's supposed to do. He's supposed to throw out that guardian armor. Oh. It's whatever. I'm not bothering to raise Wolja because as soon as he gets up, I'm sure the playful darkness is just gonna annihilate him all over again. So there's no point. This again twice. Can you hit him now? He moved up some. Go, that helps. All right, let's do this again. May I see your entrails, please? Uh, we're still missing. We're still missing. Oof. When do uh? All she can do is this. Ooh, she did 129 in one hit. That's crazy. All I see is blackness. Oh my God! Come on. I don't understand why this fight is so hard on this game. I wonder what life. Oh. So, so, so annoying. All right. And misses. Are you kidding me? It only has a 19 armor class. Oh. This is the wrong time for all that. <laughs> All right, I, I'm not, I'm not winning this without as the day. There's just no, there's just no chance of that. So I got to get him back up. Oh, there goes the Grave Knight. So he is, he is there. Okay. How is it that you are not able to do a full attack? He's right in front of you. Ooh, 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 ooh. This fight, y'all. This fight. Miss with every single one of them. All right. Let the attack yep, commence. Yeah, of course. All right. Die, die. You still, you still got all your buffs. Okay. Oh, he's probably gonna knock you straight back down. Damn. You know what? It's annoying yeah, that the shadow's still around. Oh, she did 28 damage to him. That's nice. Oh. Is all this blood mine? Never thought I had that much. Oh. Why does the game freeze every time he goes down like that? It is. The game does not oh, like this fight. This. Oh. 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 Okay. Ooh, that was very, very nice, Ember. Very nice job. All right. Can we do it again? This thing refuses to cooperate. Or... No, 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 no. It's not that. Breath of life, right? Within touch range. Within any range. Here we go. Can use raise dead on him. Oh, here we go. Oh my God, are you kidding me? All right, don't well, let me do that. Can I? Nope, can't do that either. Are you just stuck? Can you let me do this. Nope. Um. Uh, fine. Then you know what? I'll put my summon. 
put my summon a little bit closer. Where is this dude? Here we go. You. No actions left. Oh, to use this turn? Okay, whatever. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. All right. And of course, of course that was a miss. Oh crap, no! <sighs> that was so my fault. Damn. Oh. Miss, 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 miss. Oh. Well, at least it's targeting the boar. Yep. As it squil squilches. <laughs> To a, what sounded like a very painful death. All right. You know what? By now, I gotta have some scrolls I can use on this bad boy, right? Hmm. Most of these look like the stuff I already have, though. Yeah, no, none of this. I don't have heavy, really heavy, heavy hitter scrolls yet. This would have been the time for them. All right, fine. There we go, 26. Decent damage. So, what's the point in trying to leave? I'll rip you apart! Come on. Yep, I deserve that. I absolutely deserve that. Absolutely deserve every last bit of that. All right. Now, can he use Resurrection? There we go, he can. The problem is, the guy will be hit up relatively soon, but still. my MVP, but this time, this time it's a little rough, girl, it's a little rough. Oh, he's actually already standing? Is that Asmodeus standing already? How? Oh, hey, I'll take it. Oh, because with resurrection, it, stand, it goes ahead and stands you up? Okay. Come on, don't do that to me. Not letting me put heal on him. I'll make short work of this. Not me do damage to him. All right, fine, whatever. All right. What we got going on here? No sense in healing myself. Turn on some range. Turn no, on dental, little extra rage. Uh, never thought I had that much. And can't do a full attack. Burn. Slice! Behead! A little more damage. So close and yet no so far. Me. All I see is blood. I wonder what lies oh. beyond. Ooh. Amber. Uh, this time fails to overcome, of course. We are going right back to what we did before. There we go. Oof. Brave Knight does nothing. Um, I'll rip you apart. Twenty-nine damage. 
feels so close. Right, as Medeus is still up, there's still hope. I mean, man, how how's this dude not down yet? I don't, I don't understand it. And again, they will not allow me to heal as Medeus. Well, ah. Uh, Give him more to think about, I guess. There we go. Y'all are literally just distractions. Okay. No more demon rage. May I see your entrails, please? Nine damage. Like at the very end. I am so sorry, y'all. I just did not want to leave this undone, and I almost wish I had. Oh, yeah, of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. Never of course. thought I had that much. Of course. Yep. Yep. Oh wow! Literally the whole crew. Isn't that pleasant? Are you serious? How? Somebody explain to me how that's possible. Oh. Are they not going to let me get it? <laughs> they might be telling me. Oh, here we go. All right. Is there something in here that says, like, hey, can't be healed afterwards? Is this strength damage great that's probably part of the reason why he hasn't been hitting as hard as i wanted to <sighs> no off. Please, please please just one hit what's he about to do yep all right ember finally some measure of progress. Now, if I remember correctly, you have to heal him. Oh my. Ho. Ho. -ho. Worst fight ever. I really, really, really hate that fight. Wow, I hate that fight. Okay. I welcome your company. Oh. Wow. Just so unnecessary on so many different levels. Oh, skip the pleasantries. We're not healing you. You can stay that way. We'll make things right. Oh, man. Are we ready to move out? Ooh. Potion of inflict serious wounds. What do you get for this? Braces of armor plus five. Cloak of resistance plus three. Plus three. <laughs> Headband of vast intelligence. Belt of giant strength plus four. Whatever. Uh, what's this? Chain shirt plus one. Bloodstone. You get a speed corrosive short spear plus four. Uh, mithril speed scimitar plus two. Uh, cold iron dagon plus one. Helmet. Why is the helmet unidentified? Helmet of weakening torture. Whenever the wearer of this helmet lands a hit with a melee weapon, the target must pass a fortitude saving throw or suffer bleed damage that equals the wearer's strength modifier for 1d4 rounds. This bleed does not stack with itself, but stacks with bleed effects from other sources. 
All right, restoration. For a righteous cause is certainly different from a simple massacre. The former is more bloody and performed with pinkies out. Ooh. Okay. That's finished. We're glad for it. Sorry, you all, that it took so long, but you all plan to play this game as well, so you, you now have an idea of what that fight is like. This way. Um, nope, not going out that way. Don't need to. That puts you down where you were before. You are my favorite aid. Bye. Like in that section right after you spoke with the succubus, so no need to go through there. Just go back the way you came from. My legs carry we literally just came here to deal with playful darkness. All right. Ooh. One more fight that's not that I don't see is nearly as bad. But oh, knowledge arcana. It went splendidly. Oh, this is the portal I was Ice thinking of. Blood. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, no, it's not. This is to something totally different. I don't know if I've ever done this before. Wow. I learn something new every single day. What's going on here? All right. The other side. Nope, I've never been here before. Wow. Have I pleased you? The crude stone altar of Desna. It would seem that some cultists had hoped to return to their worship of the good deities. Their fate remains unknown. I see Interesting. Over there. What's this? This ring grants the wearer a plus five competence bonus on mobility checks and plus two competence bonus on attack rolls with throwing axes, darts, and javelins. That would be perfect for Windowog if I had her using throwing weapons, which a lot of people recommend. Interesting. This is my kind of work. And that's all cell stuff. Very, very Anything nice. For you. Very, very nice. Okay. Still finding out new things after all this time with the game. All right. Um, I crave for adventure. Where else would I be? Right, you you lost all your stuff, right? Smile. The world's not ending. Just you still got your yeah you still got your eye stuff you still got all your stuff how's that possible hey i'll take it um something wrong you. okay let's get this done let's um we'll go with turn base mode they're kind of worthy. This is the worthy fight. All right. Um. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Those bone shakers are, are gone. Those bone shakers are not. Oh yeah. All for 17 damage. Oh well. And of course, one left. Time to do share that. your treasures. Ooh. Hey. There we go. Somebody's upset. I don't know what's going on there, but hey, whatever. Cool. All right, back to business. Yes, this is the window wog we know and love. Absolutely. And yep, get a little closer. And then you can go over here. Let the attack commence. There we go. 
now we all know what we're dealing with. Yep, very, very nice. Very, very nice. Alright. Here, come over here too. There we go. Nanio. Um, now that we've done the other thing, let's see if we could just start taking these people out one by one. That didn't go as well as I'd hope. Haha. <laughs> you cannot move. Oh, what a jerk off. He's in a little bit of trouble, huh? You can't get a full attack on the, any of them. Full attack first. Then get closer. What in the hell? I was about to say, are you... Oh, wow. All sorts of enemies. Okay, um... You should be enraged. Die! 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 Off with your head! There we go. Off with your head, indeed. Burn! Slice! Uh, uh, behead! Yes! Okay. Ah, no, that's just one. Ah, uh, didn't let her hit the other one. She did that, but whatever. Alright, let's try this again. There we go, that's what I wanted. Now, nah, we'll just. What's your deal with him? Stab your zap. Why not? Uh, he might be resistant to this, the, the other one, but fire. Ah, uh, yes. There's no problems. Flames to the face won't solve. Uh, that guy's already dead. So, you can go deal with this one. Oh, you might have been able to charge now. I think about it. Oh, well. Nope. 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 Okay. Well, let's get closer first, and then we'll deal with you. Sure. Oh, you're oh you're a mage, so you don't feel the need to get particularly close. Interesting. May I see your entrails, please? Well, you can watch your friends die. And get a little closer. All right. Um, what is that about? Who's this person? With this smidge left. Is that you? Oh, that's you? Oh, well, shoot. Amber's got. Ah, she can't do anything like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Amber's got thoughts about that. Ba boom, ba boom. I will Somebody see else takes healing. 19 damage, not bad. Nope, can't Distract charge. Them for me. Ooh, 47. Very nice. How do you like this? How do you deal with that? Oh, you don't like that at all. You don't like that at all. So sorry to hear. Okay. Excellent. Take this lock. Pretty good, aren't I? Excellent. I don't know. Oh, I think that goes back to the regular um to the regular hall. Scroll of ear piercing scream. Regular stuff, regular stuff. All looks like regular stuff to me. Okay. So, 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 so. Laboratory. There we go. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. What is this thing again? Lenses of prolonged gaze. 
These lenses make it easier to keep an eye on someone. Worn by a powerful Aeon, they grant three additional uses of enforcing gaze every day. Very, very nice. If you're an Aeon, no, I no, am not, so they will be sold with the quickness. And then this is blocked off. Yep. I assume this is how this bear is similar to the ones you saw in Arulu's laboratory, but a little different. It seems denser, more solid, stronger. Yep. So you do not have access to that right now. for this calls me I'll take the bait um unfortunately I don't think I do I'm sorry y'all one more rest and rebuff and then we will go ahead and finally finally finish act three hmm hmm 23 hours well wow. Whole day. Okay. Um. Quick, quick! Now swing this all the fun. Nice. Yes. Boom. Adayana. Boom. Rollash. Boom. Boom. Turn this on, you did not. There we go. You. Okay, let's get this done, y'all. What's in wait for me there, I wonder? Whoa, deal with the trap. This is my kind of work. And actually, we'll do a full save. And then finally, finally, finally. One last little bit. This fight is not easy by any stretch, but it ain't nearly as tough as... Oh, crap. Doors sealed with magic. The symbols on it are the same as those on the altar in the center of the hall. Sorry, I forgot about this. The altar is covered in the same symbols as the door in front of it, and there's three slots marked with the symbols of the three demon lords, Discari, Baphomet, and Noctacula. Insert the key of Baphomet's servants. 
The key fits perfectly and starts to emit a disturbing glow. Insert the key of Discari servants. The, fee, the key fits perfectly and starts to emit a disturbing glow. Insert the key of Noctacula servants. The key fits perfectly and starts to emit a disturbing glow. With the last, when the last key is inserted, you hear a rumble. The door in front of you opens. The way to the heart of the vein is clear. Bingo. All right, now we can go. Quick save. And let's hurry up before my boss run out. Do -do -do. This way. You are blinded by a sudden flash. It feels like giants are hammering on your temples and a monstrous pain lashes your chest. Your wound has reopened at the worst possible moment and is gushing blood. You sense the malevolent proximity of the abyss. You can almost touch the threat emanating from it. Slowly, almost reluctantly, the wound closes, but the pain and your heightened awareness remain. The hall bears the traces of the huge Baylor's anger. Some demons are lying on the floor, literally ground into a bloody mess, while the rest are cowering against the walls. Monago, shivering, covers the wound you dealt her with one hand, while trying with the other to wipe away the blood oozing from the symbol carved into her forehead. Let me into the Rift Terrace, and we're all going to die here! I'm trying to fight back. It's madness! No one goes into the Rift. You will fight, all of you, or else. Baylor unleashes a deafening roar, the eyes on his huge head filling with true madness. Chaotic. If you want to leave, if any want to leave, let them go, demon, and fight me if you're so eager. I told you, Desisant. Now you're going to die, and they'll hang your horned skull on the walls of Dresden. You. Your little troop made a fool of me at the Battle of Dresden. Finally, I can make you pay. Finally. Can we retreat already? This dude, no joke. To be absolutely clear. All right, Wolgif. Oh, as usual, I forgot to put invisibility on. I swear you were invisible. Oh, well, whatever. No. Hey, Hold up. Mm -hmm. oh. Time to share your treasures. All right. Does she get a full round against any of these people? Nope. So she'll go more so that direction. And then. They'll beg me to stop. Mm mm mm. I had a feeling you'd do that. Oh, I don't appreciate that at all. Don't appreciate that either. Um, yeah, let's 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 chill on all this, okay? Failed. Okay. Ooh, a bunch of wisdom damage to a bunch of different people. Appreciate that. Ember, can you please make this easier for us to deal with? Appreciate that. Succeeding throw. Uh, uh, saving throw succeeded. That's fine. We only needed it for one. Here we go. Yeah. 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 That's exactly all that I want to see. Now, yeah, we don't appreciate your presence around here either. Wonderwalk, do what you do. Oh yeah, oh yeah. This kill is for you. You know what? I just realized something. Wonderwalk, mythic path. I don't think I've ever seen... Is Cleaving Shot working? So... Wolgif hit this guy a bunch of times. Winterhawk hits him. He dies. And then she directly attacks other people. I don't think Cleaving Shot is... Is working. Is it? 
is it it says 10 feet right is that what how, how much all other enemies in a 10 foot radius is that considering within 10 feet hmm. not sure i'll have to keep this in mind when i oh, what in the hell oh that's right i forgot all those people were in the back so yeah they come you know, kind of late but they come help all right I've just never used this power once. <laughs> One of these days, I'm gonna have a situation that actually calls for me to use it. Oh, you're, out, you're out of powers? So you decided to finally join the club? That was a mistake, you should've stayed in the back. Come on Crusaders, hurry up. All right, we did a bunch of wisdom damage to you. Let's see. Yep, you are not equipped to deal with that at all. And of course, Queen Galfi shows up when all the work is done. All right. Nice job, Ember, nice bit of damage. Additional damage. Oh, Walt, if you want to take some. Bam! All right, that went very well. Very well, very, very well. Rifts are usually chaotic and unstable. That's why I've been plagued by one question. How could demons have created a stable, permanent passage from the abyss here in the world world? And as I stare into the flames of the rift itself, the answer still eludes me. What is the secret to this canker festering at the very heart of our world? How can we heal it? My friends and comrades, the time has come for us to discuss something of the utmost importance. It is here, on the threshold of the abyss, that I must announce an important decision before you all. But first, we shall talk about you, Commander about how well you have discharged the duties I entrusted to you. My righteous sister in faith, must these discussions take place now at such a moment? The enemy is watchful, and its forces are great. That is what we must turn our attention to, not scrutinizing our fellow crusaders. In the hundred years that this war has lasted, not a day has gone by when I haven't thought about how we can win it. That is precisely why we cannot delay the conversation any longer. Chaotic. After everything I've done for the Crusade, you're going to put me on trial? Not a trial. Merely a superior evaluating the actions of a subordinate. May I remind you that it was I who entrusted you with your title and an army? The first and most glaring issue I'd like to discuss is how you have used the divine gift that was bestowed upon you. When Crusaders cannot tell their Knight Commander from their demon enemies, it says something. A Commander's absolute priority is leading the Crusader armies. And I cannot help but notice that you have handled this part of your responsibilities well. Among the decisions I find most questionable is your use of Vescovors in the Battle for Dresden. A foolish, dangerous, and reprehensible idea given that the soldiers who carried the bait for the swarm weren't warned about the nature of their mission and perished to a man. I cannot but notice your strange choice of companions. The good gods teach us to seek the light even in the darkest soul and to believe in redemption. But it is one thing to believe in the good intentions of a murderous succubus and, for example, send her to a temple of Desna to be cared for by experienced priests. But it is another matter entirely to take the demon with you to the front lines, where one well-timed stab in the back could put a tragic end to our entire Crusader cause. It is unthinkably reckless. Intimidate. Let me remind you that you were the one who assigned Narad Dindenwar to my entourage, who turned out to be a Baphomet cultist. So which of us is incapable of choosing worthy companions? A fair reproach. Let's hope Arushalay will stand head and shoulders above Nura. 
I also wish to mention what you did with Iomade's banner, the Sword of Valor. This sacred relic handed to you to defend the city against the demons has become a reflection of you. I do not know how you managed to distort its features, but I cannot overlook it. I only pray that Iomade will forgive us all for this most improper treatment of her relic. That is all I wish to say. And now, to summarize. You can think my assessment is empty fault-finding, but I am responsible for the entire Crusade, for Mendev, and for the future of those who have encountered or will encounter the evil of the World Wound. I do not have the luxury of making a single mistake. You hear the ring of steel in the Queen's voice. That is why I am forced to remove you from the command of the Fifth Crusade. I won't stand for this. Throughout the Queen's entire speech, Darren is silent, but his silence is more expressive than an entire crowd yelling profanities. This is why I always take payment up front. The customers become very shifty when everything is done. I deeply respect the desire to bring discipline to the Crusades, but not all the accusations you leveled at the Commander are guided by that desire. Ah, uh, typical. Get us to do the job first, and start with the questions after. Next thing they'll be telling us to empty our pockets and kicking us out the door. My righteous sister, you are entitled to make such a decision, but please reconsider whether this is the right one. He is not just the Crusade Commander. He is our hope. Our only hope. Our only hope is he? I see you do not value me or the other heroes of the Crusade very highly, my righteous brother and comrade. But let me continue. Do not take your demotion as a punishment. I have in many respects been forced to take this step. As we all know, the demons have created a new weapon. The Hindrian Crystals, which provide them with truly mythical powers. We managed to remove the threat temporarily, but not eliminate its source. The Hindrian Crystals were brought here to Galarian through this rift. I shall do everything to ensure this route is blocked from now on. I shall destroy all the paths from the Midnight Fane to Dresden, blocking the passages with rocks if I have to so that demons passing through this indestructible rift cannot descend upon the city. This is a forced measure. I am doing this for the safety of Dresden, but this won't solve the problem. We should, no, we must, track the demon's path and settle this issue once and for all. And that means venturing into the abyss. No one but you, with your unique power, can handle this task. That is why I shall take over the command of the Crusader armies, and you will journey forth on this great mission. What if I refuse to go to the Abyss? It will mean that one day the Abyss will come for you. I might disagree with my righteous sister-in-arms at times, but there is one thing she is indisputably right about. Evil must be killed at the root. The Nahindrian crystals are too great a threat and we may never get another chance of reaching their source. Correct. I imagine I'll be up to the task of leading the Crusaders. A hundred odd years of experience must count for something. But your mission in the Abyss is critical. If you destroy the Fane in its exit, how will I return to Galoria? Don't worry about that. I will go with you, and I know the secrets of traveling between planes. I have also been to the Abyss before, and I have fought the beasts that dwell there. My sword and my experience will help you on this mission. In the Lexicon of Paradox, our Louis Valesh's book, it says that there are five such rifts within the borders of the War Womb, so blocking the Essex on the Fane will only deprive the demons of one of their five routes here. Wait a moment. And where is this Lexicon of Paradox now? I would also like to take a look at it. Bluff. I have no idea where it is, to be honest. Probably still gathering dust in our laboratory. A pity. We could have learned so much from that book. True. Until the problem of the Nehendrian crystals is solved, we won't be able to win. Ah, I will go to the Abyss. But, I, but don't think I'll forget the way you treated me. The Queen's brow furrows, but she refrains from comment. Valor, bravery, and loyal comrades. 
We have all this in abundance. With it, even the Abyss holds no fear for us. Wish me luck as well. Until next we meet. Watch and learn. And there we have it. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of Act 3. Make sure we loot Darazan, who gives you a gold coin with Baphomet's mark, a gold coin that used to belong to the Baylor Darazan. The mark of the Demon Lord Baphomet is etched onto the coin's face. You also get Menace of Death. Whenever someone dies within a 10-foot radius on the wearer of this amulet of natural armor plus 3, the wearer gets the effect of the hate spell for 2d3 rounds. This effect is renewed each time someone dies. After this effect wears off, the wearer cannot make any weapon or unarmed attacks for 1d3 rounds. And then finally, Rupturing Storm. This plus 4 scimitar deals additional 3d6 fire damage. On a critical hit, it sparks. It creates fire sparks that stick to allies' weapons, granting them flaming enchantment for 1d3 rounds, as well as granting the wielder and allies fire resistance 20 for the same duration. That sounds perfect for my Aladdin build. Wow. Yep. Definitely want that. Okay. Save real quick. And I might as well go ahead and level up. Boom, 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 boom. And it's got me on Primalist. That's what I want. And feed. Corner gets smashed, is that what I want? I don't know what I want. Dreadful Carnage. Whenever you reduce to zero, you can make persuasion to demoralize all enemies. That actually has weight. You know what? You know what? I need to think through this. So, actually, we'll go ahead and end it here. Hope all of you have enjoyed the video today. If you did, please leave me a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I will see you all in the next video. Take care.